It's a chilly evening in Lisbon, and the bustling streets are alive with anticipation. Enthusiastic fans draped in red scarves congregate at their local meeting place, eagerly engaging in animated discussions about the future prospects of their club. Benfica. <laughs> In the last 10 years, this iconic club has had experienced a tumultuous journey. However, just as it seemed that their downfall would mark the end, a flicker of hope has recently emerged. In this video, I will explore the ascent, the descent, and the extraordinary resurgence of Benfica that has breathed new life into the loyal fans. Before I share with you the ups and downs of Benfica in the last 10 years, it's essential that you have an idea about its glorious history. For starters, Benfica has been around for more than a century and is considered one of the big three clubs in Portugal along with Sporting CP and FC Porto. What's great about Benfica is that this club has never been relegated from the Primera League, the ultimate competition in Portugal. It speaks volumes about their consistency, doesn't it? The glorious history of Benfica has earned this club a loyal fandom. It's actually the most supported Portuguese club. Let me give you an estimate of this club's popularity. Benfica has got around 14 million fans worldwide and over 250,000 members. That makes them one of the largest clubs in the world. When I say that this club has a glorious past, I mean that they have won almost everything. Now is a good time to talk about their impressive trophy collection. Benfica has won a whopping 85 major titles in Portugal. That includes 38 Primeira Liga titles. Can you believe it? But their success isn't just limited to Portugal. Benfica has won big international competitions too, like the Latin Cup in 1950 and back-to-back -back European Cups in 1961 and 1962. So in short, Benfica is a really special club with a rich history, a massive fan base, and a ton of impressive achievements. But the last 10 years for Benfica have been a little strange in the sense that it had experienced a mix of successes and near misses in both domestic and international competitions. Back in 2014, Benfica won the Portuguese Premier Liga title. Not only that, they also reached the final of the UEFA Europa League, but unfortunately lost on penalties to Sevilla. Evidently, luck wasn't on the side of Benfica in that fixture. They continued their success by winning the Premier Liga title in the following four seasons. Their winning streak was the talk of the town. But alas, all good things must come to an end. In the 2019-2020 season, Benfica finished second in the Premier Liga, trailing champions Porto by five points. It was a setback, but they weren't ready to give up just yet. The pursuit of the Premier Liga title continued in the following season, and Benfica gave it their all. They finished third. The trophy draught was getting more difficult, leaving fans frustrated, but there was still hope. The following season headed down a familiar path, a path toward failure. But the 2021-22 season unveiled the spark that had been missing in the previous years, the unwavering fighting spirit of the team. While they didn't claim the league trophy, their resilience was evident in the UEFA Champions League, where they battled fiercely to reach the round of 16. Unfortunately, their journey came to an end with a loss against Liverpool. Nevertheless, Benfica's renewed spirit left fans hopeful for what lay ahead. The team's remarkable performance in that season reignited hope in the hearts of both the fans and the team itself. They were determined not to let anyone down. Lucky for them, the 2022-23 season proved to be a game changer for Benfica as they made a comeback that was nothing short of a fairy tale. During the 2022-2023 season, Benfica achieved unprecedented success, reaching new heights in their performance. The team's remarkable journey culminated in their 38th Portuguese Premier League title. Although their run in the UEFA Champions League ended in the quarterfinals against Inter Milan, Benfica's overall campaign left an indelible mark. Benfica's performance was outstanding, which boasted an impressive record of 28 wins, 3 draws and only 3 losses. Their attacking prowess was evident as they scored a formidable total of 82 goals. A standout figure in Benfica's attack was Goncalo Ramos, a 21-year-old Portuguese striker 
who emerged as the team's top scorer. With an impressive contribution of 26 goals across all competitions, Ramos showcased his power, clinical finishing, and ability to forge strong connections with his teammates. Similarly, Benfica's flank was electrified by the presence of Rafa Silva, a Portuguese winger who consistently posed a threat to opponents. Renowned for his speed, skill, and accurate crosses, Silva has been a valuable asset to the club since 2016, accumulating an impressive record of 181 appearances, 33 goals, and 44 assists. David Neres' integration into the team, on the other hand, boosted the attacking prowess of Benfica. The Brazilian winger impressed the fans with his goal-scoring abilities. He netted 12 goals and provided 6 assists in just 22 appearances. His amazing performances contributed significantly to the team's remarkable success in the 2022-2023 season. While Benfica's attacking prowess played a vital role in their success, it is important to note that teams cannot rely solely on their ability to score goals to win. A strong defensive strategy was undoubtedly in place for Benfica to perform as well as they did. The players at the back needed to be at the top of their game to execute their strategy effectively. The team's defensive strength was exceptional as they conceded a mere 20 goals throughout the entire season, showcasing the solidity of their defensive unit. Goalkeeper Odysseus Vlahodimos emerged as a reliable and formidable presence for Benfica, acting as a solid wall against opposing teams' goal-scoring attempts. The Greek goalkeeper made numerous crucial saves throughout the season, playing a vital role in the team's defensive success. In addition to Vlahodimos, Benfica boasted a solid defense unit comprising experienced and talented players such as Lucas Verasimo, Nicolas Otamendi, Morato Gilberto, and Mihailo Ristik. The defense served as the backbone for Benfica's success in the 2022-23 season. Crucial to Benfica's triumph also was the astute guidance of coach Roger Schmidt. Assuming the charge in 2022, Schmidt implemented significant changes that paid off handsomely, granting more opportunities to young players, and his acumen as a tactician set him apart. One of Schmidt's most notable tactical innovations was his use of a three-man defense. This system allowed Benfica to be more aggressive in attack while still being solid defensively. The three center backs were often joined by the full backs in attacking moves, which created a numerical advantage for Benfica in the wide areas. Schmidt also used a high pressing system, which meant that his team would try to win the ball back high up the pitch. This put pressure on the opposition's defenders and midfielders and often led to turnovers in possession. It is still early days in Schmidt's tenure at Benfica, but he has turned around their fortunes in a short space of time, and he has them playing some of the best football in Europe. If he can continue in this vein, he could best help Benfica to achieve even greater things in the years to come. Hence, Benfica's future shines bright with a talented squad led by Schmidt. The club's renowned youth academy produces exceptional players and it bodes well for the future prospects of the team. In the short term, Benfica aims to retain the Portuguese Primeira Liga title. Looking ahead, they must aspire to compete for the ultimate prize, the UEFA Champions League. To achieve this, Benfica must invest strategically in the squad and continue nurturing young talents from their esteemed youth academy. But effectively addressing these crucial elements, Benfica possesses the potential to establish itself as a force to be reckoned with in European football. That was the video guys, so what are your thoughts on Benfica's prospects for success in the UEFA Champions League in the next season? Let me know in the comments section.